we've just installed the latest kernel. As you can see, with this little screen fetch, we have the 475 generic and also the 474. So, the idea in the movie is now how to get rid of the 474. You can go, for instance, and use the command dpg database package or something, I suppose, minus l. And here you see everything that's installed. If we then do a grab on it and we ask give me all the Linux images, you can see if I make it a little bit bigger, you can see it better. I have the 4421, 47, and the 475 on this machine. So what we can do is we could go for a perch. And I don't think it's any still in there. The perch commands, nope. So we could do sudo at get perch. What is it again? At perch or at get perch or mm, let me quick look for the code again. So it's sudo at get and then you press tab and you go look for the code you have to have. It's purging. We're gonna purge something. We're gonna purge Linux image top four top seven top four for instance since the five seems to work fine we can get rid of the four and if you have a kernel that's not working you can do just uh, the same code or we are on linux mint you can go to the update manager we are blessed to have this little gadget up here and you go inside Linux kernels and here you see just the same and you'll see the 4.4 all the things that are installed and we can remove it and here we can do it just the same remove the kernel 474 so no need to know any code so you can forget about code and just go here and press remove and we'll have the 475 and the 44 as backup as failsafe so that's my advice for you guys to try it out.